What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damian Cryer. I hope each and every one of you guys is having a wonderful and blessed day, man. Again, man, so I'm back with another video, man. Um, by the way, I'm doing fine, guys. I'm actually doing really, really well, guys. Um, today is Saturday, and it is Saturday, uh, May something. <laughs> It's like the twelfth or tenth or something like that. I can't remember. But anyway, so I'm I'm doing all right, man. So today I decided to come out to this very park right here. It's a spot where um, I get a lot of peace of mind. That a lot of you guys who's been following me for a long time, since I, well, I think I've been on YouTube a year and a half, maybe two years. Guys who's been following me since I've been on YouTube, you know that this is where it all started for me right here. This is where I come to give me peace of mind right here. So anyway, I'm gonna make this just a short video. Um, a lot of people in the comment section been asking me to do another video about relationships. Um, as far as like how to, you know, uh, deal with the breakup when you break up with somebody. Um, I've always said, if you've been with somebody only for maybe a few months, maybe even a year, it won't be as hard to do it. But when you've been with somebody for, a, you know, a long period of time, it's probably going to be pretty challenging. Now, I would say, um, for me, it was a little bit difficult, but uh, that was, you know, uh, that was like a life changer for me. But it wasn't a life changer in a bad way. It actually was a good thing for me because now I get to experience a lot of things that I wasn't able to experience um, when I was in a long-term relationship. Basically, what I mean by that. And, and 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 I'm not saying that the single life is all cracked up to be what people hype it up to be. You see people on Facebook like, oh, it feels good to be single. Oh, that money hit different when you single. Oh, that's a bunch of bull crap, guys. Don't don't believe the hype. Those people who are saying that are lying. They're hurt and they're upset and they're pissed. That's why they're making statuses about it. So I would say for me, the the big thing about you know, becoming single was basically now, uh, let's say for instance, when I, when I get off work on a Friday night, if I wanna get in my car or my truck at three or four in the morning and just roll the windows down, turn the music up as loud as I want and just ride around for two hours, I could do that without permission. If I wanted to jump on a plane tomorrow and just phew, fly out of the state for a week or two, I don't need permission. I just pretty much do what I wanna do. Um, so that's the upside to it. Now, the downside to it is, you know, you're gonna be in a position where you have to do things on your own now. You know, where you have two incomes, now you only got one income. So you have to do things differently on your own now. And basically, when you do things differently and on your own, you have to adapt or become custom to a different way of living. Basically, you go from two incomes to one income. You know, now you can make it, you can make it, but you're gonna to have to modify your life a little bit. You have to modify the way that you live a little bit. You know, you won't be able to um, splurge and go out to eat as often. Me, I do. I still go out to eat occasionally, but not as often as I would like, because I know that number one priority thing is to make sure that home is taken care of first. I have to make sure that there's a roof over my head have to make sure that the bills are paid, have to make sure that there's groceries in the refrigerator and in the cabinet as well. So I'm saying that it's not as easy as people put it out there to be. You know, don't never believe what people say as far as, oh, the single life is beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful to be single. Oh, no, it's not. Quit lying, people. I'm gonna tell you firsthand. Now, since my separation and since I've been single, um, I probably ruined a couple of different relationships that came my way or potential, you know, which is fine. I mean, it's a life experience, man. You know, you're going to do things that you don't mean to do and you're going to say stuff that you don't mean to say, but then you find out that it's too late. But all you do from there, you pick yourself up and you move on from it. You don't sit there and dwell on it now. Okay. I brought this tripod with me, that way I'm able to walk around and talk to you guys at the same time. So, I got an email, and the email was basically was like, well Damien, I'm going through a 
through a divorce, um, you know, what can I do? It's hard. We done separated for a few months. We done came back together and we done broke up again and then we done came back together. We broke up, now we back together. Now we talk about getting married again and now we broke up again. So this is a good one right here. So So this is my thing right here, okay? Because this is a real tricky one. If you're in a relationship, now, again, guys, this is not, I'm, I'm not a professional. I'm not a, I'm not a relationship doctor. I'm not a professional on this. I can just only tell you how I was able to get through it with, you know, taking some advice and, you know, making this stuff happen, man. If you keep going back, back and back you're not giving the person time enough to miss you you're not giving the person time enough to realize what they had because you're too busy going back when people break up the first thing that they do is what I'm going to show this person I'm going to do better I'm going to stun on them I've even had someone ask me one day hey Damien me and my dude into it can I use your car one day because I want to stun on him I want to pull up on him I want to you know make it like I said listen here man that is some childish stuff right there. Why would you want to put me in my car and me in your personal line of fire that you got going on? I said, listen, I want to give you some advice. The person didn't want to hear my advice, but that's another story. The thing is, man, is when you break up with somebody, you don't have to stun on them. And then when they see you a week later, you doing good. Cause never ever in a million years is you going to break up last week. And this week, your whole entire life done changed. Never. People want you to believe that. Oh, we broke up last week. This week, oh, I just got it going on. My whole life done changed. I'm a new bullshit. Excuse my language, but bull crap. People don't break up and then all of a sudden they life changed the very next week. You know, if y'all in a relationship and y'all going back and forth, back and forth, and y'all constantly breaking up and a week later y'all back together, Y'all need to end that, man. Walk away from it. Walk away from the relationship because it's unhealthy. If the red flags are showing down, they're going to always be there. They're not going to change next week because you broke up with them for a week. You know, I see Facebook statuses all the time. People have Facebook statuses of them and their significant other on there. And then they try to talk to me. And then a week later, they changed the status. It's like, what do I look like, a dang on dummy to you guys? You know, I'm not using my personal self for experience, but I see so many statuses for people, oh, I'm single now, this and that. And then two days later, they're back posting on social media, loved up. It's like, and then a week later, they broke up. It's like, listen, when you break up and you have a bad breakup, work on it. Social media is not the place for that because those people don't care. They don't care. They're looking at you and they're like, mm, mm, mm. And the people that's looking at you going, mm, mm, mm. Even me, they have problems of their own. They have problems of their own. May not be relationship problems, but they got their own personal issues going on in their life. So all I'm saying, man, is when you in a relationship, whether it's volatile or it's verbal abusive, sometimes it's best to walk away. And when I say walk away, I don't mean walk away and then come back a week later. Let that stuff die down for a minute. Let it marinate, sit, let the other person miss you and realize what you had going on. It don't mean when you break up, go knock on the door and say, oh, I left my toothbrush here. Oh, hey, uh, uh, your, my, my next doctor appointment is in your phone. Come on, you're doing all that just to see what this person is doing. You know, basically it's unhealthy. All I'm saying, man, is walk away. I'm not saying to just forget the person. What I'm saying is sometimes it's best to walk away because if you don't walk away, you'll find yourself in jail. You'll find yourself paying fines, court costs, and fees. You'll find yourself doing community service. you find yourself in work release. you find yourself on all kind of abusive programs or stalking programs that you would have just prevented. If it's meant to be, the person will come back. All I'm saying is sometimes it's best to walk away from a situation 
because you would never change yourself or change that person if y'all don't get a chance to breathe. Anyway, man, I wanted to just do this little short video on this topic because I was asked to do this video. Actually, two people in an email asked me to do this video for you guys. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, man. Leave me your thoughts and opinions on this video. Smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. And again, guys, tomorrow I am going to be doing a Mother's Day vlog. Well, actually, I'm going to do the Mother's Day vlog tonight, and then I'm going to release it tomorrow. It's going to be basically about you know, not having my mom anymore, how it's changed my life, you know, and how it's impacted my life, not having a mom anymore. And I'm sure a lot of people watching this video and around the world can absolutely understand what this video will be about tomorrow because a lot of us don't have moms anymore. You know, I don't know if a lot of you guys are like me, but I never met my dad. I don't even know the dude's name. Um, if I see him, I'm gonna punch him. I'm <laughs> I'm just kidding. I might walk up and ask where a child support check at. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I might walk up to him and just shake his hand. I don't know. But, you know, so um, tomorrow is going to be one of those emotional days for me. Um, not having a mom. Um, um, so it's a real sore topic for a lot of people to talk about. But when these days come like this, a lot of us, we just try to, you know, deal with, the, deal with it the best way that we can without really talking to people about it. So I'm going to do this video for you guys tomorrow. But anyway, smash that like button on this video, man. Get this video to... I'm not even going to be greedy today. 50 likes. I will drop another video for you guys. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below and let me know what story time video you want me to do for you guys, man. Listen, my email is black underscore DAC2 at yahoo.com. Leave me a comment, man. Don't be ashamed. Anything that you want to ask me to vlog about, I will do it. I don't mention any names in my videos, okay? So anyway, guys, I'm going to end this off. Until next time, I'm Damian Cryer. I love you guys. Peace.